Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will show you all how to create thematic maps or in other words, how to classify the data or show pie charts or pie diagram from a taken data. So let's start it. So I have taken the map of India, which includes all the states uh, of India, including the Union territories. And now I will open my attribute table and show you all what, what fields I have added here. So in the first field, I have added the states, the name of the states present in our country. And in the, in the next column, I have added the total population of all the states in the year 2011. And after that, the, the next two columns I have added are the areas present in our states of rice and wheat in 1000 hectares and the year is same it's 2011 so in the next step i will show you to symbolize the data how we can use it in uh, thematic mapping so go to properties and after that click on symbology and after that in the first one it's in features there is option in single symbol that is in the single symbol we can show only in one sing symbol or in one color Click on apply and see and in the next one it's in categories in unique values we can uh, show in the different colors according to our own option here see we can show the highest to lowest population and in the value field i have selected the total population uh, of the states where the darkest color represents the highest population and the light, lightest one represents the lowest population it's in unique values Or we can change the color in the color ramp. It's according to us. There we go. We can also give different colors, but I think one color is best. Oh, this is the color of multiple colors. One color is best to show the highest to lowest population, I think. So it can be called as full flat map. So this thing we can do in unique values by going to categories and after that in quantities let's see graduated colors I will again put the value as the total population see here we can classify it we can classify it according to our own uh, we can give I have chosen as 5 you all can give it as 3 or as many as more it's according to you all
and we can also change the method as equal interval or manual or a natural break I will give it as natural break okay apply it I will change the outline color in a darker one just by clicking it in that symbol and change it now we can see in a proper way <coughs> so these are my classification I have choose five classes again I will go to symbology so we can give the values according to our own it's up to us everything we can do it in our own way how we want it okay I have chosen as first one is 4000 then 17,000 after that uh, 42,000 in this way I will do it So it's done. Okay. Apply. I will remove the zero values that is after points. It's coming here. it so here we have shown the classification we can also change the color here in here also let's give it a different color okay this is a multiple color so here the red one shows the lowest population and the green dark green one shows the highest population it's easy to show in this way so next in i have go, gone to quantities and dot density in here also i have added the field as the population population values now I have changed the dot value as one dot represents 1000 population So this is the method of dot density how we can show the population by giving it in dots we can also change the symbol out here but in a circular figure I think it's look more good so next come to charts first one is pie chart I will get select the areas of wheat and rice and uh, I will give the rice color as green and wheat color as brown 
okay let's apply it okay we can uh, change the background color here apply or oh, the size is very big let's go to size and decrease the size here I will go with 10 okay and apply it oh now it look good apply it okay so the brown colored area are the wheat and the green are the rice so we can see that the areas of wheat are only present in the center part of india and in the northern part however rice the areas of rice cultivation are more than wheat we can also show in bar charts in the same way as we have shown in pie chart. Okay, that's the bias. Apply it. So, in properties, we can give it as bar or column it's upon to us how we can show it we can also show it in 3d one option is there see and here the leader lines are pre selected i will unselect it okay again i will go to increase the size here apply i think in pie chart, it's look more better than the bar chart. So that's all. So let's revise it. What were things I have shown you all today? So at first, I have told you that I have added some data and I have added three kinds of data that the first one is uh, the total population of this all the of all the states of india of the year 2011 and after that i have two the added two datas which are the areas of rice and wheat cultivation in all over the states of india which is also of the year 2011 and it's shown in 1000 hectares and after that I have told you how to symbolize the data by going to symbology at first a uh, single feature was there where we can uh, show only in one uh, one symbol or in one color after that in categories after that in categories how to uh, show in different colors or in one color that shows the highest to lowest population um, then after that in uh, quantities in graduated colors we can uh, classify it by selecting a method which are in many methods like in manual or in natural break or in equal interval and we can also take many classes as much as we want we can also get showing two classes or in a three classes and after that uh, in charts i have told you that how to show oh sorry in quantities i have shown also that dot density map how to show the population in dots after that in the charts we i have shown you all how to show pie chart and pie chart so that's all these are the ways how we can symbolize the data or the procedures how we used uh, we use for thematic mapping purposes 
by showing the highest to lowest population or lowest to highest uh, population or any data we want to show or by showing in uh, classification by classifying it in uh, according to our classes after that we can also show the dot density procedure and also, and also in charts so these are the thematic mapping processes how we can show it by taking a representative data so in the next video i will show you all how to cut and clip a map in arcgis software and that's all for now and again i want to remind you all that if you all like my video then like video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it till now and if you have also subscribed it hit the bell button and i'll share it to your friends to your family to anyone you want to like to share my videos so till then take care see you soon bye bye